split C's. It understands zeros and ones like a computer, okay? But then clay can be changed. That's what man is. It, it can, can be changed. It can be moved around. It can be take on many different, for whatever you feel like, you can, you're the mighty creator. And so iron mixed with clay is basically what this is saying. The, the left hemisphere of the brain becoming equal with the right hemisphere of the brain. So they can come together, like what the Beatles sing about. Okay? You follow me so far? Now watch this. The last thing she said was, marijuana ingestion has been shown to change the worried state by producing alpha waves experienced as well-being. Let me give you, a, I, I covered this a little bit better in a video we did called The Mystery of Contemplative Prayer. And I talk about the danger of a lot of this meditation that's going around, whether it's, whether it's newage meditation, um, you know, in the, in the New Age movement, or it's done in the church with, um, with the contemplative prayer, whispering prayer, the Jesus prayer, repeating mantras over and over, the music, the music and the worship, a lot of these church services, if you'll notice, the music is designed to function in a certain way. Number one, as people are coming in, here you have that, let's get up and go music. Boom, ba boom, ba boom, ba boom. Everybody stand up, wave, clap your hands, and all this stuff. Before the music is over, and as the minister is about ready to just walk right up and start talking, they bring that music down. Now everybody's swaying. We're going to slow the mind down so that the waves of activity of, of your brain is not doing a whole lot. Okay, you follow that? That's what, they, that's what they do with their music. They're going to bring it down now. Just like a hypnotist, really soft and quiet. Now the guy's going to come out and start talking to you. But he's not going to be reading from the Bible, is he? That's what's going on. Let's take a look at it, all right? Beta state is awake, normally alert, and conscious. That is the state that you and I are in right now. We're thinking, we're Making, you're taking in what I'm telling you, but also at the same time, the, this side of your brain is kind of helped drawing a picture of what it is I'm describing. As I was talking about these church services, I was explaining the cold hard facts, but this part of your brain was drawing a picture in your mind of what that looks like. They do, are, they are supposed, this is supposed to help this. No doubt about it. No doubt about it. This is supposed to help this side of our brain make these decisions. This is never to be equal or to be in charge of this. It's not supposed to be that way. That's what drugs do. Drugs make them equal. So then you get down to the alpha state. Relaxed, calm, not thinking. Did you see that? Yoga. Yoga induces, see you can do it in a meditation form. Yoga brings the mind down and they say, they say this, now clear your mind of all thoughts and just focus on your breathing. Focus on this inner light inside of you. Focus on that and just forget about anything else in the world. I've seen, I've seen these witches and sorcerers on Trinity Broadcasting Network do that same kind of witchcraft magic to people. Okay, now, come on, God's going to heal you, but there's too much in the way, too much junk. You got, let's empty your mind now. Let's get everything out of your mind. Now, focus on the light of Jesus right there. See that they're playing tricks with you. They're trying to get your brain down to an alpha state. And I'm going to show you how dangerous that is. Hypnotism kicks in right around the alpha to theta state. Theta state is deep relaxation and meditation, mental imagery. Because once they, once they can get you to alpha, once they can get you to stop thinking, then once they can, watch this, once they can clear all of the words out of your mind so that the word is not there anymore, then they can just bring you down to theta. And then, of course, delta is like when we were really, really, really deeply asleep. And I'm going to show you, so I found this between last week and this week, and it just, my jaw dropped open. An admittance by someone who actively gets in touch with guides, spirit guides, aliens, 
The Bible calls them familiar spirits, devils, evil angels, all right? Someone who actively gets in, gets in touch with these. I want you to look at what she said. She said, the alpha state, why, it is, I, why is it essential to psychic development? And she goes in to describe exactly what I described for you here. So here is, what she's, here is her chart of the brain waves. Take a look at the brain wave states that occur with certain activities. Beta is fully conscious, awake. The conscious mind is busy, concentrating, and engaged in this state. Now, let me stop right here. There is a difference between biblical meditation and occult meditation. Biblical med meditation is in Philippians. He said, whatsoever things are true, whatsoever things are just, whatsoever things are lovely, and there's eight things there. If anything be of good report, think on these things. Meditate in Bible terminology means to think and ponder the scripture verses logically and analytically and um, well, critically, as it were, using the criticism to yourself saying, I need to come in to line with what I see here in the scripture. You know, I just opened my Bible here. Bel oh, 1 John chapter 4, Beloved, believe not every spirit, but try the spirits, whether they be of, uh, whether they are of God, because many false prophets are gone out into the world. Hereby know ye the Spirit of God. Every spirit that confesseth that Jesus, is, Jesus Christ is come in the flesh is of God. Biblical meditation says, think on these things. Ponder them. Meditate on them. Newage meditation says, don't think on anything. Well, can I think about Jesus in John 3.16? No. You can repeat John 3.16 over and over and over and over and over again, but you can't think about what it means. And I see this junk moving into the church, and people are, are taking p pieces of these New Age Bibles, and they're reciting them over and over and over again because they were told by their gurus in their churches that if they did this, God would have a deeper relationship with them. They would be able to hear the God that's on the inside of them. So whether it's a meditative entheogen or a chemical one, the outcome is the same. And those who practice meditation and practice psychic sciences and arts and those who get in contact with spiritual healers and aliens and all of this stuff, they do so by the use of chemicals such as cannabis and there's another one I'm going to show you. It's, it's actually in the Bible. And then she describes alpha, light, sleep, dreams, meditation, daydreams, creative visualization, connection to the subconscious. Watch this. What is subconscious? Conscious, the word conscious, the word con means with, okay? Pasta con broccoli, I like it, or pasta con bacon, that's what I like, all right? Con means with. Conscious is related to conscience, S-C-I-E-N-C-E, -E. that means knowing. Conscious, I, I am alert and I'm knowing everything around me. I am, I am monitoring all of the aspects. I'm hearing, I'm seeing, I'm feeling things, I'm detecting things. That is my conscious. If I want to know what this Bible feels like, I touch it, and I'm consciously aware of what this, and I'm processing that in my mind. That is my conscious. Here's what subconscious is. Picture everything like a, here's an ocean, here's the water. And you look out over the ocean, you can see birds, you can see the sunset, you can see ships going in every now and then, a fish jumping. The fish jumps up, but then it goes down to the water. Does it cease to exist? No, it's still there. It's just that you can't see it or perceive it because it's, there's a barrier here of the water. And so sub means under, like a submarine. Sub is under the surface of the water. And there are, there are, God designed this brain to be an amazing piece of equipment. It is, we are processing more from what is around us in our subconscious than we are our conscious. That's why you could be focused on something and looking at something and somebody's talking to you. You're hearing it. It's going into your subconscious, but you're not paying attention to it. So sometimes you go, I'm sorry, what? I, I do that all the time. So, Honey, I did it again. I'm sorry. Can you tell me that again? So I don't, I don't want to forget it. Okay, guys, 
It's better to ask twice than to pretend you already know it. Trust me. Anyway, when you get the alpha state is when you stop focusing on what's above the water and you start looking at what's under it. That is alpha state. Cannabis and marijuana will take you from here to here. Does that make sense? Those of you who have done it? Now, let's see what she said. Beta is the brainwave that's present for your normal waking state and all the busyness that happens during this state. Most of us are in beta, fully conscious, awake, concentrating throughout the day, but note that you cannot usually receive psychic insights or intuitive guidance in a beta state. That's the state where your conscious mind is fully engaged and operating and everything is busy, busy, busy. You need to be in an alpha state or at least, or at the least, to receive psychic information. Before I begin a reading, I always take myself down to an alpha state through meditation and visualization. I obviously don't call it putting myself in an alpha state, but if I remain in beta with my conscience mind engaged, I can't read for someone. Quite simply, I can't connect with someone's spirit guides in that state. If I tried, I wouldn't get any information. Did you see that? She admitted that in the state that the Bible tells us to be in, you can't talk to these devils. You can't talk to these spirit guides. They're under here. You can't see them. can't have anything to do with them. You have to get under here so you can see them and hear from them and know what they're saying. That's what she's saying. So think about what these drugs do. Think about, number one, what meditation does. Think about what drugs do. Think about what's under the water. Think about Revelation chapter 13. I stood upon the sand of the sea and I saw a beast rise up out of the sea. Where was he? He was down there. And something happened to where now he's going to come up. But she said, everything that's down here and all those spirits that are down there, you can't talk to them. You can't have anything to do with them as long as you are sober and sober-minded. You see, it doesn't matter if you smoke dope, take um, entheogens, doesn't matter if you, whatever high you're on, or you drink alcohol. One way or the other, one thing or the other will bring you to alpha and below. It's the same thing. So I want you to think about these, um, she, she, the, the idea that the brain operates in frequencies. These frequencies in the Bible are basically waves. And I want you to notice what the Bible says is in these waves. Psalm 93, 3, the floods have lifted up. Oh, Lord, the floods have lifted up their voice. The floods lift up their waves. Jeremiah 5, 22, fear ye not me, saith the Lord. Will ye not tremble at my presence, which have placed the sand for the bound of the sea by a perpetual decree that it cannot pass it? And though the waves thereof toss themselves, yet can they not prevail, though they roar. Think about something that roars. Though they roar, yet can they not pass over it. Now, God described the inheritance of Abraham. He described his offspring. And by the way, you and I are of that offspring because we are of faith. We are of the faith of Abraham. So we are children unto Abraham. And God described them as the sand of the sea. And did you notice in Jeremiah 5.22 that here's the sand of the sea, and no matter what the waves do, they cannot pass the sand of the sea. Isn't that beautiful? 